Okay, so now we want to uh, talk about the chain complex associated to a simplicial complex. Okay, so we've got an abstract simplicial complex K, and we'll write V for the set of vertices. So uh, by a naught chain on K, I just mean a formal Z-linear combination of vertices. So like maybe if A, B, and C are vertices, then 5A minus 6C, uh, 6B plus 2C, that would be a formal Z-linear combination of the vertices. And we're going to write uh, C naught K uh, for the uh, group of all these zero chains. So it's the group of all formal linear combinations of vertices. Okay, and remember, we use the notation Z curly brackets V for that. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got a vertex A, then I'm going to write this kind of pointy brackets A for the uh, corresponding basis element of this group C zero K of, of naught chains. So you know, pointy brackets A, that is, that is a naught chain. And um, you know, if we had two vertices uh, you know, A and B, then five pointy brackets a minus seven pointy brackets b that would be a, a naught chain uh, <clears throat> so that was our c zero k but then we're also going to define we're going to have to find c r k for all r um, so the next one will be c one k that's the uh, the set of one chains and a one chain is uh, more or less the same thing as a z linear combination of edges uh, except there's this kind of little twist to it um, you know, we've got uh, an edge say from a to b then we can think about that as kind of going from a to b or going from b to a um, so, uh, you know, uh, so we have uh, uh, one chain's uh, pointy bracket AB or pointy bracket BA, but we, we uh, have this rule that uh, pointy bracket BA counts the same as minus pointy bracket AB. So, uh, yeah, as we said here, uh, so pointy AB is the edge from A to B, pointy BA is the edge from B to A, and um, uh, in, this, uh, in the group uh, C1K, these count as negatives of each other. And then there's a kind of a, a, a special case of that as well. If we've got uh, just a vertex A, then you can kind of think of A comma A as being a sort of degenerate edge that just goes from A to itself. Um, and in, in the group C1K, that degenerate edge counts as zero. Right? Uh, so that, of course, that's consistent with the rule that if we flip it around, then it has to be equal to minus itself. Right? So AA has to be the same as minus AA. Uh, so the, uh, that forces us, more or less forces us to take pointy AA to be zero. So that was the one chains, and then now we want to talk about two chains. So we have a two chain uh, pointy ABC for every uh, every two simplex, uh, with two plus two simplex with vertices ABC. But again, we have this kind of sign rule. So uh, we could write the same simplex in various different orders. In fact, there's six different orders in which we could write the three vertices of the of the, of the simplex. Um, and so ABC, BCA, CAB, they all kind of count the same. And CBA, ACB, uh, BAC, they also all count the same. But the, but the ones in the second group, they count as the negatives of the one in the first group. That's kind of because they, they're odd permutations. Right? So BCA is an even permutation of ABC. CAB is also an even permutation of ABC. So those all count the same as plus ABC. But if you look at uh, CBA, for example, where we've exchanged A and C, we've done a transposition, exchanging A and C and just leaving B in the same place. Transposition is an odd permutation, uh, so those ones, that counts for the minus sign. Similarly, ACB is what we get by taking ABC and just swapping around the B and the C, which is an odd permutation. BAC is what we get by starting with ABC and swapping around the A and the B. That's, again, an odd permutation. So those those three all count as as negatives of ABC. And again, uh, so we could also have this sort of degenerate case uh, U, of UVW. If uh, uh, two entries in um, in the list are the same, uh, then we count that as zero. Okay, and so that's the rules for the group uh, C2K, which is a group of two chains. Uh, <clears throat> And in general, for D chains, a D chain is a Z linear combination of uh, ordered D simplices. Uh, and we have the, the same kind of sign rule that if we uh, permute the indices according to some permutation sigma, uh, then that's a, that just gives us a, a sign, a signature of, of sigma, which is plus one for even permutations and minus one for odd permutations. Um, so uh, so uh, the uh, A, if we rewrite this as A sigma naught up to A sigma D, then that's, a, that's the signature of the permutation sigma multiplied by the original thing A zero up to A D. And uh, we also have this extra rule that if uh, any any vertices are repeated uh, in the in the list a zero up to a d, then that uh, that counts as the zero d chain. So here's some examples. Uh, here's a simplicial complex K, uh, and uh, yeah, we're going we could consider 
twice pointy CD plus pointy DE. That's a, a, a one chain. Um, it's kind of drawn like this. We've, uh, we've got a double headed arrow from C to D. That's for twice C comma D. And a single arrow from uh, D to E. That's for D comma E. Okay. And if it was, uh, you know, <clears throat> yeah, we could instead of ha had a, a term e comma d that would have an arrow in the opposite direction and e comma d, and that would be the same as minus d. Uh, here's another another one another one chain which we're going to call v. It's uh, pointy f e plus pointy e d plus pointy d f. So uh, f e is is this one, uh, e d is this one, and uh, d f is this one here. Um, so in this example, yeah, we've got a term ED going in this direction. Previous example, we had a one chain U, which involved uh, DE going in the opposite direction. And remember, ED and DE are negatives of each other. <coughs> so now this picture shows U plus V, where um, we had U and V before, as they were before. Uh, and uh, the, uh, we had a DE in, uh, in U, uh, which is cancelling against the ED in V, so we don't have an edge appearing here anymore. We've just got twice CD uh, plus DF plus FE. That's, uh, that's our one chain uh, uh, U plus V. Yeah. Well, quite often we'll use abbreviated notation for this sort of thing. Instead of uh, writing all these pointy brackets and commas and things, uh, I'll just write uh, uh, u is 2cd plus de, or uh, de is the same as minus cd, so that's 2cd minus ed. And uh, f is more right, there's just fe plus ed plus df. And so uv, u plus v, as shown here, it's 2cd plus df plus fe. Now here's an example of a two chain. Okay, so this is a simplicial complex L, is the kind of whole diamond shaped thing, and the uh, two chain u is v0 v1 v2 uh, yeah, going like here and so we've written this we've written this kind of circulating arrow with a, a circular a circle and an arrow on it here indicating the direction so uh, but so uh, v0 v1 v2 following around the arrow yeah, and of course we could start it up here and v2 v0 v1 but that would count the same because yeah that's that's an even permutation of v0 v1 v2 so it doesn't really matter where we start uh, we just have to know whether we're going clockwise or anti-clockwise um, <clears throat> and that's what's indicated by this arrow and then uh, that's our first term in u and then the second term in u is twice v1 v4 v3 okay so again uh, it doesn't really matter we could write that as v4 v3 v1 or v3 v1 v4 uh, you know, the only question is whether we're going clockwise or anti-clockwise in this case we've uh, going uh, going clockwise we've written a double arrow because of the coefficient of two here um, and again, uh, we'll use this kind of abbreviated notation. We won't bite the pointy, uh, the pointy brackets and the commas always. We could just write this as v0, v1, v2 for the first term. And we might actually abbreviate even more and just write 0, 1, 2, uh, not bothering with the v's. And then the second term would be twice uh, 1, 4, 3. <coughs> and uh, a key kind of uh, thing we're going to be thinking about later is about what's the boundary of this, right? So right here we used to have just these little circles, but we can kind of push these uh, push these outwards along here. And now the kind of the in evidence sense the boundary of this U consists of you know, just what's going around the the edges of these uh, these triangles. So we get uh, the edge, uh, uh, <coughs> um, you know, the edge going for, from here. We're going twice uh, from V1 to V4. And then we're going twice from V4 to V3, twice from V3 to V1. That's going around the edge of this term here. And uh, all going, and then going around here, you know, you've got a, a V0 to V1 plus once, and then a, a V1 up to V2 following around the arrow, and then a V2 to V0. Okay, so in evidence sense, this is, the, this is what we get as the boundary of this original chain U, uh, is this combination we got along here. So that's going to be uh, in the next video. Uh, to explain in more detail what we mean by this kind of boundary thing.